Hey, it is Eric Barfield from Patch Foundry, and today I'm going to show you how to get the basics down of the external section to control um, either main stage or you could use an external synthesizer. And uh, we'll just jump in and I'll show you the details. All right, so I have the North Stage 3 up here, all set on my very messy kind of slipshod <laughs> studio desk here, and that's fine. Um, today, I'm going to show you how to set some of the parameters here and then the basic functions of this section, the extern section, which is short for external. And the first thing we're going to need to do is come up here and hold down shift and then tap extern. Now, if you purchased the Nord Stage 3 Worship Collection and you installed from the archive, you're good to go. All of this stuff is going to be set. If you haven't, you probably should think about picking it up because I think it's a, a pretty good value and uh, it will set all this stuff for you so you don't have to do it. So the first thing I'm going to do, uh, it has multiple pages here. I'm just getting back to the very beginning here. The first page is called Mini Channel Usage. You're going to want to say Shared. That means that uh, you can either do it per program, which would mean you could change it on each individual program, or in this case, just to make it simple, we'll do shared. That's on page one of the extern. By the way, the way I got here, I hold shift and then tap on extern. And that's how you get there. Then I'll hit page over. We're gonna send on MIDI channel one. You can really, if you're working with like main stage, you can probably send on just about any one you want, but I prefer one. Um, by the way, you can also set a different MIDI channel for each panel. So I'll do panel A on one, MIDI channel two on B. Um, again, you can kind of make your own choice on that. I'd say just keep it on one though, keep things simple. Um, keyboard velocity, you can make sure that the wheel, the after and, and the pitch stick are all gonna be sending, because um, that's important. <laughs> and then, uh, let's see, yep, all those are on, that's good. We don't want to send any information, so I'm going to turn all of these off. And then this gets super geeky. I won't get into that right now. Uh, basically, you just want to have everything off, and that's fine. We'll go to the CC number. I'm going to put the CC number that this thing can transmit using the MIDI CC here. And we'll get into this in a second. Um, I'm going to set it to CC number two. And then the value is set to zero, so basically I'm not sending anything at first. I know this is geeky, bear with me, it gets simpler. Uh, vol volume value, with that is zero, and then global soft through, I have it on, I don't think it really matters that much in this case. Now, I'm gonna come over here and turn on my extern section. Do that, you just power on the button like any other section would, and in this, uh, you have a few options. You can go octave up or down. If you hold the shift button, you can go down. If you just tap it, it'll go up. You can control the volume, which is basically like an expression. Using this, you can send a program change message, which is great. Um, if you want to recall call a preset, or you can do, and then you have one controller for basically adjusting one parameter which again, that seems limited, but it's I haven't found that much of a problem with it. Um, the other thing, just to note here, I'm gonna be getting this. Uh, I have a Behringer DeepMind synth here. I also have a laptop up above. I could be doing this with main stage, but I'm gonna just keep it simple today and keep it all hardware based and just go into my DeepMind 12. So right now I have this pad that I've created. kind of like it. And all I want to do is be able to layer that pad with the piano sounds that I have here. So I've got a, a piano. Yeah, I'm going to turn that up a little bit. And then I also have another drone pad there. And that sounds good, but when you layer it, that's with something like uh, a DeepMind, which is an all analog 12 voice keyboard. Man, you start to have some major stuff happen. So 
In order to, to do this, it's so simple now. I've just plugged it in via a MIDI cable in the back. The great thing is I can, I also have this hooked up via USB and that's running into my main stage. If I was running that up here, I could put it into Logic Pro. The options are kind of endless. And, but the MIDI cable is the one that will go out through the MIDI out port here, all the way past this massive thing of, oh, don't look at that. All the way into the back here, right there. And it's going in the MIDI in on my DeepMind 12. And so again, the sound that we're, is that, when I turn this on, it sends both out through the USB and the MIDI out at the same time. And then to make things even cooler, I've um, set so that the expression pedal over here will control the cutoff on the DeepMind when I use the expression pedal on my Nord Stage 3. So watch this. Whoop, I have to bring volume or the frequency down on the Deep mind. And there we go. And that's how to set it up um, so that you can control external synthesizers. Of course, this process is almost identical for software videos and I'll, or for software instruments. And uh, I'll show you guys in another video at some point how to do that. In the meantime, this is Eric signing off for Patch Foundry. Thanks so much. I'll see you uh, next video.